Ah, my Tamagotchi's did. If you were a 90s kid in Canada, chances are you've owned or used a Scenics branded computer. From their loud and proud Maple Leaf design to the Split Diamond logo, these machines grace shelves everywhere from Canadian Tire to Radio Shack. Scenics Technology Incorporated was established in 1986 in the bustling shores of Vancouver, British Columbia. At the time, they quickly became the largest Canadian manufacturer of home computers, and in true farm-to-table style, they invested heavily into research and development of their own motherboards and board components to ensure a quality equal to that of our graded maple syrup exports. The 90s were generous to Scenics, with annual sales reaching 100 million, as the bustling computer retail market was received by eager families, students, and businesses looking to expand their horizons on the world wide web. Scenics moved into the enterprise market and even acquired audio retailer a and Sound for the measly sum of $25 million in 2005, which was a bold move considering retailers like Walmart and FutureShop already dominated the audio market, forcing a and Sound to file for bankruptcy. Scenics had high hopes to reintroduce the AMB Sound retail chain to consumers with the addition of their OEM computers and newer audio devices. Scenics's president, Paul Girard, was quoted as being ecstatic for the acquisition, with high hopes driven by the success of devices like the iPod. The future certainly seemed bright for Scenics, and who doesn't like cheering for their local team? But in 2009, Scenix was forced to follow in the footsteps of AMB Sound and file for bankruptcy, largely due in part to overestimations during their acquisition of the failed audio retailer. Original estimations valued AMB Sound's assets to the sum of $5.3 million. But in reality, Scenix had paid a hefty fee for only $300,000 worth. Not much room for profit once creditors like Microsoft and Intel took their cut. These days, however, you won't see or hear anything about the once loud and proud Canadian retailer, as foreign manufacturers flooded the market with cheaper alternatives, with more bang for your buck, or loonies and toonies. The Scenics trademark is even available for registration, as the previous registrants failed to renew in 2011. This particular Scenics is an ASI 9000 from 1995. And much of the configuration that you see here is as is original from when I found it for $9.99 at a thrift store. At the rear, we have your typical I.O. ports from a computer of this era. AT keyboard connector, mouse, with the addition of some fun things like a CF card reader and a Sound Blaster sound card. I've added thumb screws to remove the side panels because, well, having four or five or six screws to unscrew is a little bit much. Removing the side panel. Solid steel. Don't make them like they used to. It's quite congested inside, so let's take a closer look. Here we have Scenix's ASI Rocket VL. It's a 32-bit full-length VESA bus card capable of two IDE drives and multiple floppy drives from 360K all the way up to 1.44 megabytes. Here's our 486 CPU, modem card, sound card. We also have three 72-pin slots for RAM. And of course, there's also one of those pesky Dallas clock chips. Now, before we start this machine up, we are going to need to do a few things. Firstly, we need to ensure that the keys are in the on position. Vroom, 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 vroom. Secondly, we'll need our 1986 silver badge Model M keyboard with buckling springs. So nice. And we'll need its ridiculously large SDL to AT keyboard connector, which you could play skip rope with. And last but not least, the star of the show, our serial star mouse. Can't believe I said that. All right, let's go ahead and get this started up. Hmm, 486 DX 66.6 megahertz. 
the number of the beast. 256k cash and look at all memory. Two slots out of three populated with 32 megabyte sims gives us about 68 megabytes. There's our sound blaster. Windows 3.11. Excellent. Pretty snappy for Windows 3.1 too. Oops. What's this one? There you have it, a budget-friendly, budget-conscious computer produced by Scenix right here in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. It's hard to imagine what could have become of Scenix had they not fallen into bankruptcy. But who knows, now that the name's up for grabs, maybe somebody will pick up the namesake and continue their legacy.